The markets just opened up. Let's take a live look at the big board here where we're already seeing the impact on the stocks after the two major bank failures. Looks like it's down about a, uh, 176 points. Just a short time ago, President Biden addressed the nation, assuring Americans that the banking system is indeed safe. No losses will be borne by the taxpayers. Instead, the money will come from the fees that banks pay into the deposit insurance fund. Because of the actions that our regulators have already taken, every American should feel confident that their deposits will be there if and when they need them. President Biden also said management of the bank will not be working there anymore, so they'll be fired. Let's explain what happened and why it's having such a big impact here in the Bay Area. Silicon Valley Bank, a lender to some of the biggest names in the tech world, became the largest bank to fail since the 2008 financial crisis. SVB provided banking services to a lot of the country's tech and life science companies. Its swift collapse sent shockwaves. One lady caught in the middle of this chaos. Her name is Amber Fields. She's an Etsy seller and small business owner. She told us the bank promises it'll pay her today, something President Biden also mentioned this morning, too. Amber says she's still scared, though, and here's why. I'm a mom of three. I run a small business. I did this for my home. Those funds feed my family and pay my bills. Obviously, you can tell the impact this morning is having on families just like Amber's. Again, federal officials say this will not be a taxpayer funded bailout. Federal regulators say they are taking emergency measures to make sure depositors of the now failed Silicon Valley Bank or SVB will have access to all of their funds starting today. And they say they're taking similar measures for investors of Signature Bank of New York, which collapsed yesterday. I've been working all weekend with our banking regulators to design appropriate uh, policies to address this situation. SVB's failure on Friday was a major concern to the tech and wine business it financed. It's collapsed, followed closely by Signature Bank's raised concerns about how this could reverberate among other financial institutions. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen reassured customers on Face the Nation. The American banking system is really um, safe and well capitalized. It's resilient. According to a joint statement released by the Federal Reserve, the Department of Treasury and Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, they are taking actions that, quote, fully protects all depositors. Regulators insist the plan will not include using taxpayer dollars as the two failed banks have not been rescued. Lawmakers on both sides are hopeful they will be acquired. That would be the ideal situation, and our delegation that talked to the FDIC last night made that clear. It is attractive for someone to want to purchase it. It's just a timeline of where to move forward, and the administration has tools to deal with this. There's also a new push by some House lawmakers to extend temporary lines of credit to the bank's depositors to assist with essential costs like payroll. All right, so Governor Newsom issued a statement over the weekend about this fallout, saying he's been in touch with the White House about the matter and that federal regulators are working to protect people's jobs, livelihoods, and the economy. This morning, our coverage continues with Errol Burnett. He is outside SVB in Santa Clara right now, where customers have been lining up all morning. Hey there, good morning. What you're seeing behind me is quite a remarkable scene. We're watching some customers of Silicon Valley Bank sit in line outside its front door before 5 a.m. to make sure they have access to some of their funds. It really has been an emotional roller coaster after the past three days when the bank failed. A lot of tech startups and firms that we um, are established that we've heard of before, like Etsy and Roku, have their money here. What effectively happened is this bank used customers' funds to invest in long-term treasury bonds, which have a fixed interest rate. But as we all know, the Fed has been increasing interest rates over the past nine months, and it became clear in the past few weeks that venture capitalists became aware and publicized the fact that the bank could not cover their customers' deposits. So on Sunday, the federal government stepped in, taking extraordinary measures um, to punish the shareholders and the CEO, but assure customers that they would have access to their funds over time. There is a lot of criticism and blame to go around, but the CEO of Silicon Valley Bank, that's Greg Becker, is shouldering much of the blame. He lobbied against financial regulations back in 2015, and in 2018, then President Trump um, 
signed a bill into law which raised the threshold at which banks would need to undergo stress tests. That number, $250 billion, SVB had just under that amount. Justin, back to you. And obviously a lot to sort through with this. We will be closely following the latest developments all morning. Stay with us on CBS News Bay Area on air and always on our website, kpix.com. Gee.